大家好，我係 Tiffany 啊。上個 video 咧就同大家分析過呢個郭榮亨議員嘅英文啦。而今次咧，我就想同大家咧分析一個明星講嘅英文。而呢個明星咧就係前港姐啊，朱千雪小姐啦。佢咧誒講英文咧，大家都覺得好好聽嘅。咁大家咧都有喺呢個 social media， 即係例如 Facebook 啊、YouTube 啊上面咧瘋傳啦。咁咧呢一、这個節目咧裏邊咧，佢就係講到關於品酒嘅問題嘅。咁咧我就想同大家聽下呢一段。佢嘅英文啦，再同大家分析一下有咩係好啦，有咩唔好嘅。咁注意一下啦，就係、是、咧、呃、我見到好多嘅網民咧都集中佢哋嘅注意力咧喺依一個嘅明星講嘢是否粵耳口音是否好聽依樣嘢上面嘅。咁大家留意啦，就係、是、學一種語言咧，如果你淨係集中精神喺口音是否好聽依樣嘢咧上面咧，其實係好膚淺嘅。咁大家都應該要注意到啦，內容係咪有趣呢？表達係咪達意呢？依啲嘅 aspect， 依啲嘅方面，而唔係淨係諗啊，佢係咪講得好聽啊咁樣樣嘅。好啦，咁我哋咧就聽下朱千雪嘅英文啦。而家去片。Tracy Chu will be our guest judge for today. She doesn't know much about wine, but she knows she's a fan of white wines. We're in our final sommelier challenge today, and I have two very special guests. We have Chef Hiro from Kazuo Kada. Thank you very much, and you've prepared this wonderful red mullet dish. We also have Tracy Chu, who's a an actress and a former Miss Hong Kong. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your background in in food and wine, Tracy. Actually, it's quite interesting. What happened was when I was younger,、uh, maybe in my early twenties, I did a sommelier workshop back in Canada, and that was the first time I've actually ever tasted wine. Great! And you also enjoy Japanese cuisine? Oh, definitely. Yeah. 好，大家咧就聽咗一次朱千雪所講嘅英文啦。不如咧，我而家咧 rewind 翻每一句咁，同大家咧分析下佢英文有咩好，有咩唔好啦。We're Miss Hong Kong. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about your background in in food and wine, Tracy. Actually, it's quite interesting. What? Actually, it's quite interesting. 啊，佢都講得幾快嘅，因為依一句説話咧，我相信佢都係帶入正題啫，咁所以佢就講得好快啦。就係 Actually, it's quite interesting. 啊，大家咧，如果都係想好似佢咁咧，可以由慢開始，再慢慢去到快嘅。依句説話咧係完全冇問題嘅，講得亦都係好加常、好正常嘅一個英文。Actually, it's quite interesting. Actually, it's quite interesting. 其實都幾有趣㗎。依一句咧就冇乜問題啦，發音亦都標準嘅。咁我哋試下睇下一句咯喎。What happened was when I was younger. What happened was when I was younger. What happened was when I was younger. 佢咧就講得，因為可能快嘅關係咧，佢嗰啲 e d 音咧就唔係好覺嘅。但外國人都係咁噶啦，亦都係好自然，冇乜問題嘅。What happened was when I was younger. What happened was when I was younger. 嗱，佢依度咧好多對於香港人嚟講咧幾 impressive 嘅地方咧，就係佢嘅 tense 時態全部都係用得啱嘅嚇。What happened was when I was younger. 因為咧，佢而家講嘅嘢咧，係佢喺 food and wine 上面嘅經驗啦，都係過去咗嘅事啦，全部咧都係用 past tense 嘅。個意思咧就係發生嘅嘢咧 ，what happened 就係一個 noun phrase 啦 ，was 就係 when I was younger 喺我後生嘅時候，依、这、一個咧就係叫做 adverbial clause 嚟嘅，就係一個副詞短句啦。What happened was when I was younger。好，我哋繼續聽落去啦。啊、uh, ，未未 ，my early twenties。Um, maybe in my early twenties. 啊，佢咧就頓咗一頓啦。咁我哋講廣東話咧都會有頓一頓噶嘛。外國人都會有啦，好自然。只要你唔濫用嘅話咧，就唔使話太過慌張嘅。Um, maybe in my early twenties. Maybe 依個字咧係一個字嚟嘅，一個字嚟嘅，係一個 adverb 嚟嘅嚇。Maybe in my early twenties. Maybe in my early twenties. 咁咧，大家留意啦，就係、是、英美咧，佢哋比較中意咧讀依個 t 音咧，唔係好 aspirated， 即係唔係好吸，唔好噴氣出嚟。佢哋噴出嚟嘅氣係好少，即係點咧？咩意思咧？嗱，我示範下俾大家聽啦。Um, maybe in my early twenties, twenties, twenties 咁樣嘅，咁佢就唔會話。Um, maybe in my early twenties, twenties 依個咧就比較偏向英式嗰邊 t 音咧，發出好多嘅氣嘅 twenties。Twenties 咁樣嘅，咁兩個咧都係 acceptable 嘅，大家睇下自己嘅 preference 啦。I did a sommelier workshop back in Canada. I did a sommelier workshop back in Canada. I did a sommelier workshop back in Canada.
。依據咧，朱千雪咧就講緊佢喺加拿大咧參加過依個品酒師嘅工作坊嘅。品酒師嘅字咧就係、是、sommelier，s o m m e l i e r。朱千雪咧就將呢個字咧講得比較英文化咗少少，所以佢就講 Somalia，Somalia， 佢就唔係講 Somalia，Somalia 就係法國少少嘅風情嘅講法。好啦，就係、是、Somalia workshop，Somalia workshop， 佢就話啦 ，I did a Somalia workshop back in Canada。講完 Somalia 呢個字咧，我覺得大家咧值得去學嘅一樣嘢咧就係、是。Back in Canada 呢個 phrase 啦，因為佢咧就講 Back in Canada， 唔係淨係講 in Canada 咁簡單。佢話翻翻去加拿大嗰段時間咧，其實我做過一個品酒師嘅工作坊㗎。咁佢就話 Back in Canada， 好多香港嘅同學咧，佢哋好多時咧都會忽略咗可以講 Back in Canada、Back in China、Back in Japan 喺嗰陣啊。因為你而家已經喺香港啦，你強調嗰陣喺加拿大嗰陣就係 Back in Canada。back 依個 adverb 咧，用咗咧就會令到你講嘅英文咧更加自然啦。Back in Canada, I did a sommelier workshop， 跟住聽埋落去咯喎。And now it's the first time I've actually ever tasted wine。嗱，大家咧聽到咧，就耳聽咧，似乎係 now was the first time I actually ever tasted wine。佢好似講緊 now 嘅，但係我覺得佢其實想講咧，其實係 then， 但係佢可能講得快。咁所以佢講咗好似 now 嗰個嘅聲音 ，I have actually tasted wine。佢就用咗個 perfect tense 嘅。誒，你話，因為你話 that was the first time 啦，嚴格嚟講啊，好嚴謹嚟講，你可以話 that was actually the first time I had actually tasted wine。就係截至嗰陣為止，你用 past perfect tense 係其實係會嚴謹啲嘅。咁好多時咧，外國人咧，佢哋誒都未必會咁嚴謹咧。誒、uh, ，I've actually tasted wine 嗰一段咧，要常用 past perfect tense 㗎啦，咁都係一個折衝一個口語嘅折衝嚟嘅。你見佢咧講得非常之熟練嘅，好明顯咧都係因為平時練得有數啦，咁所以就可以讀講成咁。如果大家咧講 tense 啊、轉時態啊，依啲要練到咁熟練咧，係別無他法嘅。唯有係多聽，跟住跟住佢講，講到咧好似咧你已經變成一個係反射動作咁樣㗎啦。你應該唔使諗咧，就已經可以係用到啱個 tense 咧。咁你就真係叫。做學成咗啦，好講多一次依一句嚇，我哋都一齊講啊！希望咧 YouTube 嘅 screen 前面嘅你咧都係會跟住我一齊講啦。And that was the first time I've actually ever tasted wine. And that was the first time I've actually ever tasted wine. Great. And you also enjoy Japanese cuisine? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And you also enjoy Japanese cuisine? 依句説話咧就係佢嗰個主持人問阿朱千雪嘅説話啦。Great. And you also enjoy Japanese cuisine? 你都中意食日本料理㗎 ，and you also enjoy Japanese cuisine。主持人嘅英文就唔講啦，咁其實如果大家想聽嘅，我之後可以再做一集咧，就係、是、講主持人嘅英文嘅，佢都係講得幾好，亦都有啲巧妙嘅地方嘅。我又講翻朱千雪先。Oh definitely, yeah. Oh definitely, yeah. Oh definitely, yeah. 絕對係啊。咁呢句説話咧，大家都可以用其他字去代替嘅，例如你可以話 Oh absolutely, yeah. Oh absolutely, yeah. 依、这、一個字啦，又得啦。而家咧，即係好多時，我哋就算英同美啦，除非你話英國真係好 formal 嘅 context 啦，我哋都會用 sure 依個字去做一個 adverb 去答人哋，話當然啦，誒 sure，sure，sure 咁樣就係、是、當然啦。依、这個都係 adverb 嚟嘅，同 definitely 啊，同埋 absolutely 啊嗰啲用法都係一樣嘅。咁但係咧，其實係依一個 sure 依個用法咧，係喺可能近一百年咧先至慢慢普及嘅啫。以前就唔。比較唔會用 sure 依個字就咁用 adverb 嘅，美國同加拿大先會咁樣講咯。咁但係而家咧，誒、呃，即係其實英國都會咁樣講噶啦 ，sure sure 咁樣咯。好啦，咁今日咧同大家咧去拆解同埋分析咧依個朱千雪小姐嘅英文咧嘅環節又去到依度啦。希望咧下次再見到大家啦，同大家再。分析多啲名人講英文嘅好同埋壞啦。咁咧，如果依段片咧對你有用嘅話咧，記住唔好唔記得要 subscribe 啦、like 同埋 share 俾你朋友喎。下次見，拜拜。Bye bye